What's up everybody, Elijah here today, and today I have another Ben 10 toy review. Um, as you can see, I've got Steam Smythe here, Steam Smythe. Now, um, I was going to get Hex as well, but in my um, previous video, you saw me get my fidget spinner, so I got just one Ben 10 figure today. Um, I'll get Steam Smythe on, on the weekend in Australia, at least. Um, and um, yeah, so with Steam Smythe, let's just, let's just get straight into it. So, um... It says here, a Victorian era master of all things mechanical, this villain can create monstrous steampunk devices like scorpion stingers or the squiddish clocktopus to help him destroy anything that gets in his path. That sounds pretty cool. So, um, um, it says here that he comes with a scorpion stinger, as you can see right there. Um, he... He looks a lot like um, Zombozo, because Zombozo is in the new series, I know that. But, um, but you release a Zombozo figure. Uh, um, comment if they should release one. So, um, same packaging. I really like this packaging, actually. It, um, really reminds me of the old series, but, like, obviously, it's not like the old series. Now, I know, um, like, the new series might be, like, um, like, of me doing all the videos of it. But, you know, like... It's a new era. It's not supposed to be like the old Ben 10 series. You know, I'm not saying that it's better than any of the others. No, it's probably... Mm, just wait. Let me pop this out. I think it's better than Alien Force. I know a lot of you go like, oh, what? Alien Force was really good. I really liked it. But I think Alien Force just took a pretty dark tone. Like, throughout, not all of it. I really liked Alien Force. That was one of my favorite. But, like, all the Ben 10 series are, one, are my favourites, you know. I don't have a least favourite at all. There we go. Steam Smythe, there we go. Now, um, let's check out the art articulation. Um, now, you can move his elbows up and down. You can move it, like, um, you can twist them. Um, same with the um, um, shoulders. Oh, even these like little tassel things you can move up and down. Um, I think it's I think it would be the same with the other arm. Um, uh, the wrist. Can you move the wrist? I don't know. I don't want to break it. Um, I'm not gonna say you can. No, you can't. Um, cause I don't want your Ben 10 figure to break if you get it. Now you can move his head a little. Not really. You see, that's well. All the articulation you can get out of that. You can move his knees. Um, you can't really move his. You can't move his thighs. Um, you can't move his legs sideways. Can you move his waist? No, you can't. So not really a lot of articulation, but a lot in the arms and like the shoulders and all that. But um, besides that, yeah. And then we have this cool thing. You know, it looks awesome actually. Um, so what you do is you just. I think you. As Otama.com used to used to say, but let's just you know I'm I'm just looking at the back. All right, so it goes over the tassels. As Otama.com used to say, um, we don't need needed ex instructions. Well, it doesn't come with instructions, anyways. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is like the most difficult Ben 10 toy I've, I've ever assembled. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, it's probably the most difficult. How do you get this on? Oh, my. Uh, let, me, let me move this back. Okay, let's try it now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go, Squidward. I know you might you guys might not be able to see it, but, you know, it's... Real. Woo! There we go. Fits on very tight. I don't think you can get that off. Oh, well, it looks cool with it anyways. Um, so this is a pretty cool, you know. Let's get like a Ben 10 Hero. Um, yes, I got this 10. Now the Hero just uh, finished, but I, I still have two left that I have to collect. Um, oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just get it. What? Where's four arms? I thought four, four arms doesn't fit in the 10. I'll probably have to get another one. It only costs like a dollar. Um, so let's get like, see, ready, move, move his arm down so you can see his face, ready, set, boom, oh, wait, no, 
Let reposition it. Ready, set, pop. <laughs> Sorry. Three, two, one. Yeah. There we go. We'll have it one more time. See? It's cool. Punch him in the face when forearm just catches it and throws him away. Boom. Storyline right there. He's actually a pretty cool figure. I like it. I like the Stinger a lot. I think it looks really cool, really creative. Um, um, cool. So I just need to get like Hex and then that's it. So um, the only tricks are not at in stores yet, but I believe. Um, I'm going to check Toys R Us um, June 1st. Hopefully they'll have them. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have been saved saved up my money. Remember, save up your money, kids, for your fidget spinners or your Ben 10 toys or your Beyblades or your Lego, anything. And um, I'm, I might even do a review with all my Legos because I got like over fifteen thousand dollars worth of Lego in my room, which real I think that's really bad to be honest. Um, pretty cool. So um uh I probably won't do a photo. I'm not gonna do a photo shoot for this one. Um, but, well, um, I'll do it in another video. There we go. Um, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Comment if you want me to do more Ben 10 toys. Um, comment if I should improve with my skills of doing this. Um, and, or comment what, what I should do next, like Beyblades, anything. And, well, um, I'll see you next time. That's awkward. <laughs>